Welcome back to our Sailrite Workbench. This is the seventh and final video in a series we're calling Learning to Sew. So whether you're new to sewing or you just need a refresher, this is the perfect place for you. Today, we're gonna share some essential tools and notions that you'll need to get started sewing. To make it easy to get yours, we've linked all of them in our description below. Jumping into sewing can seem intimidating because of all the parts and pieces that you can buy, but we wanted to make it as simple as possible to get going because the only way to learn is by doing. We are gonna cover all the essentials in three main categories, measuring and patterning, cutting, and sewing machine accessories. First, you'll need a way to measure and pattern. A tape measure is a convenient way to measure just about anything. It's flexible and easy to wrap up and take with you on the go. Now a ruler is a necessary tool for both measuring and patterning. The clear acrylic ruler makes it easy to see your material and line the ruler up wherever you need it. It also features degree guides, which is extremely useful when you need to cut on a bias or at an angle. Along with creating a straight edge to mark on your material, it also acts as a straight edge for a rotary cutter, which helps you get clean cuts every time. And the tool that goes hand in hand with this ruler is a marking tool. One of the most versatile marking tools is the chalk pencil cartridge set. It comes with an assortment of chalk colors that you can use with a variety of different colored materials. The canvas patterning ruler is a Sailrite exclusive tool which is used to pattern circles and straight lines. The ruler's lift edge makes it incredibly easy to scribe a line a set distance away from your fabric's edge. This is great when marking hem lines and fold lines. The metal end is also super handy when creating sharp creases on materials. The next section of essentials is for cutting. We recommend thread snips, scissors, a rotary cutter, and a seam ripper. Although all of these tools are used for cutting, they each have their unique purpose. Thread snips are used to trim threads after sewing. These are also called nippers. This tool is spring-loaded and has sharp ends, making them easier to use than traditional scissors for cutting thread after sewing. Next, we have scissors. This one is pretty self-explanatory. Scissors are a versatile tool used to cut fabrics, webbing, and other project materials. Now a rotary cutter is a cutting tool with a circular blade that lets you cut long runs of material in one go. These cutters can be used by both right and left-handed crafters. With a rotary cutter, you also need a safe surface to cut on. We have cutting mats that are soft, which won't dull the blade unlike other surfaces, while also protecting your work table. Why do we recommend both scissors and a rotary cutter? Well, depending on your project, one of these cutting tools might be preferred over the other. Scissors are more portable and don't require a cutting mat, whereas rotary cutters cut long runs of fabric faster than scissors and cause less hand fatigue. We highly recommend having both in your workshop so you can choose the cutting tool that best suits your project. The last tool in this section is a seam ripper. This small and sometimes overlooked tool is invaluable, especially for a beginner. Sometimes you need to redo some work if a seam doesn't run straight or you stitch the wrong panels or section accidentally. A seam ripper makes it easy to remove unwanted stitches. This handheld tool has a tiny blade that cuts seams without damaging your fabric. The third and final category is sewing machine accessories. To get started sewing, you will need needles, thread, presser feet, and other sewing aids. Each sewing machine and type of project require different types of these items. So you'll want to make sure that you know what your machine and project call for before getting these supplies. With our Sealrite Ultra Feed, we offer a wide variety of upgrade packages that are perfect for new sewers because it'll come with all the necessary notions and components for your DIY style. Each package includes notions and accessories that are most used in each category of sewing, like upholstery, leather, bag making, and sail and canvas work. If you would like to learn more about these packages, you can watch our video that goes over everything included in each package, which we've linked in the info button in the top right corner. Now beyond each specific type of sewing market, there is one upgrade package that I would recommend to every new sewer, and that is the Ultrafeed Speed Reduction Package. This package comes with the Monster 2 balance wheel and all the parts needed to gear down your motor for ultimate slow speed control. I can't tell you how valuable stitch by stitch control is when learning to sew. And that's the end of our learning to sew series. Now, if you've missed any of the previous videos in this series, we've linked the full playlist of those videos in the description below so that you can catch up. And now that you know all of the basic sewing skills to get started, it's time to put those new skills to the test. We have multiple bag kits that come with all the materials necessary to create an awesome project while also teaching you valuable sewing techniques and practicing your sewing. 
In fact, it's kind of like taking an online sewing class. Plus, you get to make a high quality custom bag. And if you want hundreds of free project tutorials and sewing videos, make sure to subscribe to our two YouTube channels, Sailrite Workbench and Sailrite DIY, because you won't want to miss out on all those resources. Thanks for watching this series, and we'll see you guys next time.